LD MMAC, man. Skip the introduction, man. Now, listen, man. This little whisker bitch, a uh, 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 crusty, bald headed bum that you see to the right of your screen. His name is Ho Rogan, okay? He don't deserve a name on his channel, okay? He ain't getting a name on his channel. Dude's name is Ho Rogan, okay? And I, I don't care if I can help it. I ain't ne I, I'm never. He's never getting a name on his channel. He ain't earning he, he This dude got to earn his name back. Ho Rogan got to earn his name back. He don't get a name. How do you fix your mouth to say that you don't know who Sarge Eubanks is? Like, I, I'm sitting here for the life of me. You're supposed to know. It's his job to know. And I know people say, well, you know, maybe it is a few fighters he don't know. Well, that's why they pay this guy millions of dollars to know. That's why the UFC paid this dude millions of dollars to actually know, okay? To know who it is. That's just how it is. That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. And you mean to say he don't know who Sarge Eubanks is? She was like the last seed, man. One of the last seeds in the tough uh, tournament. One of the last seeds and got to the title shot opportunity and got sick. Sarge Eubanks would be the champion right now, man. She'd be the champion right now had she not gotten sick. I firmly and, 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 and with conviction believe that she would have beat the hell out of Nico Montano. I believe that wholeheartedly. That's just how it is. Okay? But Sarge never got that opportunity because she got sick. And then people still, you know, try to kill her about that. Oh, well, you know. You know she's too big for the weight class. You know she's too big for this. You know she's too big for that. <laughs> Shut up. At least Sarge tried to make the weight. At least she was trying to be professional. And at least Sarge did kill herself to make weight. I got a lot of respect for Sarge Eubanks. And right now, I'm going to keep rolling with Sarge Eubanks. Unless Sarge Eubanks proves me otherwise, I'm rolling with Sarge Eubanks. That's just how it is. I mean, <laughs> came up there and almost pulled off one of the biggest upsets, man, in tough history. And Joe Rogan don't know who that is. <laughs> you know, man, it's people like Joe Rogan. I'm going to tell you why. He know who Sarge Eubanks is, but see, Joe, I, I always tell y'all, listen to every word. Listen to every word, y'all. Don't read part of an article. Don't listen to part of what a person say, to, 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 you know, to try to get the gist of what they're saying. Don't do that. Listen to every word. If you listen to Joe Rogan when he was talking, when, the first, when Joe first figured out that the fight was being moved, Joe Rogan was pissed. Oh, he was real pissed. And I know exactly why he said what he said about Sarge. Oh, uh, well, you know, I don't know who she is. Of course you don't know who she is, whole Rogan. Of course, you, of course you're going to say that to help sabotage the fight. That's what you try to do. You try to sabotage the fight. But you know what? I can't stand double standards in the MMA. And I'm going to tell you why. Isn't that funny, man? When Yana Kuniskaya, you know, they asked Chris Cyborg, hey, Chris, we need you to save this card. Nobody said anything about Yana. Nobody not knowing Yana. Why you have Yana on a main event? Didn't nobody know who Yana was? But then, you know, y'all going to bring in Chris Cyborg short notice to fight Yana. How does that sound? Shouldn't it have been Yana being brought in? Shouldn't Chris Cyborg should have already had a fight lined up and they should have asked Yana? I mean, y'all see the double standards? But here go the thing. Yana Kuniskaya can be on a pay-per-view. Yana can headline. And nobody, and the coach means nobody, truly really knows Yana. You walk down the street, man, nobody, nobody know no Yana Kuniskaya. Yana Kuniskaya could go to a school and talk to some kids and them darn kids will be looking at, at Yana like, who the hell is this? Who is this? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody checking for Yana in these streets. But then, you know, you want to criticize Sarge Eubanks for taking that fight, right? Oh, you know Rocky Pennington, of course you do. Yep, Rocky been around for so long. And her and Amanda Nunez combined can do no more than 85,000 pay-per-view buys. And you sitting here telling me you don't know Sarge. I guarantee you Sergeant Valentina couldn't have did worse than that. I can tell you that now. And I know Valentina is a name. And Sarge don't have a fan base like that yet. But I guarantee you, even with the fan base Sarge got, I guarantee you, okay, they did better than 85,000 pay-per-view buys. Easy work. So we trying to sit, see, this is the game we playing. I'm going to keep on exposing these dudes. No, 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 no. See, it's going to be an even playing field. It's going to be an even playing field for the fighters on the no love list. Oh, it's going to be an even. And, and welcome. 
Congratulations, Sarge Eubanks. You are now on the no love list. You've been on there, you just didn't know you was on there. Congrats, Sarge, you're on the no love list. And let me tell you something right now, you're gonna have a lot of sacks coming after you. And y'all don't know what sacks is. I, I'm gonna make a video about that uh, eventually. You're gonna have a lot of these sacks coming after you. A lot of these people uh, are, are sat back thinking that uh, they can say what they want. But Sarge, we know if they see you in these streets, then they ain't, they ain't gonna even approach you. They ain't gonna bust a grape. We know that, okay? We know it's a bunch of these little goofy, goofy uh, nerds running around here, typing all kind of comments. But Sarge, they'll never say this to you in these streets. You got guys on Sarge Twitter talking about, man, you know, they, they love to grapple and roll with Sarge. Cause they, they, man, Sarge Eubanks would destroy you dudes. You dudes. You dudes, y'all just, all y'all doing is quoting what Ho Rogan said. Ho Rogan gonna get you dudes killed. That's what's gonna happen. Ho Rogan is gonna get you guys killed. Y'all ain't about that, man. Sarge Eubanks is thoroughbred. That's a thoroughbred. She not playing with y'all dudes. I bet not one of y'all won't go to her gym. Not one of y'all. I guarantee y'all won't. Sarge Eubanks may, may, may damn near break your neck you coming to her gym. Talking that old greasy stuff. Oh, oh I'm on to y'all dudes. Tell me what, and, and I know some of y'all, Coach, why you got, you, you disrespect too many people. Look, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the sport. And I will say what I want, and I say it when I want, and ain't nothing. And a coach means nothing that you can do about it. I will say what I want. I'll speak my mind, and you will say nothing. You ain't going to say nothing. You're going to sit back because you're too stupid not to watch the videos. That's what you're going to do. You will sit back and you will watch these videos because you ain't got, you, you can't stop. It's like an addiction to y'all. It's like a candy to y'all. Oh, Sarge gonna get my support. I'm rolling strong with Sarge Eubanks. I got Sarge back on this one. I'm gonna tell you what, and I'm gonna keep my foot on whole Rogan neck. My foot gonna stay on his neck until the end of time, y'all. I'm, I'm not playing with y'all. You pick all the other fighters, and, and I can understand even if it, it, it's a fighter's first fight in the UFC, and if he don't know who it is, I got that too. But for somebody to go that far in the tough tournament, made national, made headlines everywhere, and you mean to say you don't know who that is. Yeah, okay, we got you. Don't worry about it, Sarge. We're going to slowly build up Sarge Eubanks on this channel. And I guarantee you, the more people that follow me, and, 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 and the more people that, 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 that follow this movement. The more y'all that follow this LD MMAC movement, we gonna take over. I promise y'all, we're gonna get every exclusive interview out there. We're gonna break stories. We are gonna take over. And it's gonna start with me. General Africa joined in the fight. How many of y'all wanna join in the fight? I'm sick of fighters on the no love list. I'm sick of these fighters. I'm tired of these damn fighters always getting the, the, the end of the boot. I'm tired of these fighters always getting crapped on. I'm tired of these fighters always being felt like that people can just say what they want and then think that it's okay. Them days are over because right now I will validate for the no love list. I will stand with the no love list. I will, I'll do anything for the no love list. And I'm on the no love list because I want the no love list to be respected in the sport. And then and only then will this onslaught of videos and just commentary, will, will it stop? Only, only, only then it will stop. As for right now, the train is gonna go forward. Whether you want on or not, the train is going forward. These fighters on the no love list, they need my support and I'm gonna keep giving it to them. Every chance I get, I'm coming out and I'm supporting the no love list because the no love list, man, they ain't getting no love. Somebody got to love them. The coach love y'all and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make videos and I'm gonna defend you people when you need it. And that's how it is. I'm done.